I have no reason to kill anyone. Mm. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. Ooh, you know the viewers at home is watching this and they like, oh, oh, this getting juicy. Oh. Y'all will never guess what just happened. I played 30 minutes of the trial, realized my gameplay wasn't recording. Here I am reloading the game all the way over. Look what I'm about to do for y'all. Look, 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 look. I was already knee deep in that trial. I think majority of the time it took was me figuring out what some of these answers were. I already set all my skills. Let's finish the preparation and get into this trial. I'm glad I caught that now. What's up with my recording Let's begin system? with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Damn it. If you can then I okay what Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. Right, right, right. This is gonna piss y'all off. It pissed me off obviously because I already think they put together clues way too slowly, but just look at this whole first moment. It's Kyoko! There's no other explanation. But Kyoko's standing right there. Right there. No! That's a ghost! This nigga hit a fat ass. Oh my gosh. But she has legs and stuff. Right, Hina. Thank you for that uh, excellent observation. Well, that's just because... Because what? She's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. Smoking on that banyan. Smoking on that dro. Hero high as f*** at this class trial. Banyan's what he blow. <laughs> There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Her traits? One important trait Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't belong to her is her amazing gloves. A gun! I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. You know why, Kuya. You don't do that. And would you happen to know the answer? Right, but at the same time, Kyoko, he's asking you. You're on the chopping block. This is what I don't get about you. Why are you showing up with, all, I don't know, like all this little teen angst attitude that you got going on? You realize you're the prime suspect now. It was me, but you showed up right at the beginning of the class trial. Where's your evidence? Where's your uh, investigation uh Huh? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh! You know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Right. They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. There's no way that corpse was Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're going to be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to. Well, if you think about it, if that person were to wear gloves, why would they have fake nails on? I don't even know if that, that really did it, but uh, this, this, just this is ghost. the right answer. So let's, let's hurry it up. Okay, then prove the dead body. What they got burnt up. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Give me that. No, that's wrong. I thought you were going to say, no, I got it. I can't get your catchphrases right. No. There's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Absolutely no freaking way. You know why? Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, you, remember? You ever, you ever had long nails and tried to wear a glove? Y'all seen my nails last week. Any glove I ripped through, I'm looking like Wolverine in this bitch. I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Yeah, it would. Besides... Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? Absolutely, she does. It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. 
don't you think? Yeah, she's not gonna flex her ugly ass hands. Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. <laughs> Bro, the second time hearing that is even funnier. Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? You never got any piece of cool, huh? Little young whippersnapper virgin. I bet you never <sighs> stuck your nose in a cool hole before. It's radical. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hero sticking his nose in some coup is a crazy image. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Thank you, Hina. Talk to him. Talk to him. Makoto, if you don't, if you don't holler at her and say hello at least, bring her a fucking banana in the morning, you know she in the gym. Get a workout. Ugh. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. I meant banana the fruit, you nasties. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Absolutely. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. No, it does not. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. As this as this game goes on, I'm starting to like Kuya a lot more. Like, he might be my favorite character right now. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. I'm sure you can figure out who's my least. It's not him, though. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Let him know. Let him know. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. And you know the one identifying factor of the victim? Tattoo on that hand. Tattoo on the right hand, Ta tattoo on the right hand, not a tattoo on the left hand, but a tattoo on the Kyoko right hand. really is still alive. Then who died? There's gotta be some, I don't think so. The thing, and there wasn't any description in the Monokuma. Well, if we can't identify the body... Really? Then there's nothing else we can do, right? I'm trying to help you identify the body right now, y'all. Just listen to me for once, please. If Kyoko really... Then who died? There's gotta be some, I don't think so. And there wasn't any dis- Well, if we can't identify the- Then there's nothing else we Damn can it. do, right? No, there's something else you can do, just if listen to me. Then who does? There's gotta be so I don't think so. The thi and there wasn't any description in the monoc- Well, if we can't identify the body- Then there's nothing else we can do, right? If Kyoko really- Then who does? There's gotta be so I don't think so. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body- and there's nothing else we can do, right? Bro, I'm really supposed to shoot all really three of those does? purples? I don't think so. The face, and there wasn't any description come on, come in the monocle. Come on, come on, come on. Well, if we can't identify the body... Yes! No, that's wrong. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. Mm-hmm. What? For real? If you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. Toko, shut your bitch ass up before I slice my finger open, show you some blood like that, have you pass out, bring genocide here so your whack ass can go back to, I don't know, Lululand, wherever you be going. Cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. Hero, why are you doing a coke line off your finger in the middle of the trial? A cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. Okay, I gotta chill out here, bro. He probably don't do not one drug. He just... He just... He just gone. She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. Listen to me, then. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Yup. Fenrir. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this... A dog? Close. Her master must have made her get it. To be like, you're my bitch. <laughs> you're my bitch. Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? You're my bitch. No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Let him know, Kuya. You know about Fenrir. What's up? Oh, really? Yeah. If you can put the tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should be clear. Yeah, you remember when I talked to talked to you about I got it! The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Oh my gosh. Okay, so to show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad 
would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir. Fenrir? Fenrir. The image that represents Fenrir is Hangman's Gambit. I did so much of this trial, I didn't even realize. We're only 10 minutes in though, that's, that's, okay, they gave me a bonus, nice. They gave me a bonus, nice. Shout out Chino Apple Wolf, gang gang. Now I understand. Now I understand. Show us up. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf beast. Okay, you know your shit. If Hifumi was here, he'd love this conversation. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. The female giant don't got a name, mom don't got a name, that's so... Ugh. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. Yes, we did. A wolf tattoo. Then that means... One of us should have a wolf tattoo, absolutely. Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf, which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? Ah, uh, plot twist, you thought. <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Hmm. What? Are you saying the mastermind is dead? And now we have to have a cool ass trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair <clears throat> seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the <clears throat> ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. The ultimate soldier. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. That's right. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Kyoko, crazy ass. Kyoko, that's what you told Makoto, right? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student of Ho uh, Hope's Peak Academy, the ultimate despair. Stay away from her, or whatever the hell she says, it's annoying. So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Wow, Kyoko, or you lied to me. Then, who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. Usually. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Mm. Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? That big ass talking bear that y'all keep... It from. must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! Okay, okay. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! Voice actor from Monokuma is A1. Oh my gosh. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the Mastermind will have to wait. But remember this, no matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. Dang, the family name? That's damn near worse than the game. That's like saying on blood, but like on Togami. Ugh, that's kind of hard. I'm, so, I'm about to start putting stuff on Togami. I'm about to start putting stuff on Togami. Ugh! Ouch. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. All right. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Facts. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains! Don't disrespect me. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Uh, who else would it be, Kui? You know the rules better than anybody. Then, one of us killed Mukuro? 
When you think about it, it's like, oh shit, who did it though? Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along! Hero, hold up, bro! He's been on bull this entire time. Since the moment he... This nit... Oh, we gotta see how this ends! Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then... One of us killed Mukuro? <laughs> Bro, look at his face! He's really about to... Okay, okay, I can... this is just speculation. This is just speculation, but... Oh, I thought... I didn't know he had it in him. I didn't know he had it in him. Who's the killer this time? I didn't know he had it in him, but I gotta see... It, yeah, fuck, it could be her too, though. It could, it could be her too. I know it's not Kuya. I know it's not Kyoko. Could it be Hina? No, they just made Hina go through that whole... Uh... Uh, Sakura trial. They were not. Would they though? She might have wanted to kill. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's keep going. Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Who? Who? Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Bro, you saw the wooden key in her room. We went to the locker and saw titanium arrows. Based on what we know, there can only be two s suspects. Wow, because I don't have an alibi, that's right. I got it! You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? And I. Kyoko and I. Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. Right. The gym? That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... Are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Hmm. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it. I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Okay. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Of course. Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Good move, good move. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. Okay. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. <laughs> Bro, I have a high suspicion as this dude, because he like... He freaked out when he saw Kyoko. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? When she went to go get the pickaxe. Oh. So what time was the body discovered? It was at 9. I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Probably not on the dot now. <laughs> be back at 9.01. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. Okay. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. Mm. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... 8.30? Oh, yeah! 7.30. Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Nice. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Why are you happy about it, you stupid druggie? The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. 
And I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. till 7.30 a.m. Okay then, it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. But what if it did happen during that time, dude? What are you talking about? I'm going with sprinklers. I feel like all this time talk has to do with the sprinklers. We've at established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. All right. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would... We've established a time. It took place somewhere between and 9 o'clock. Yep. And Mako yeah, from to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would... We've established a time. It took place somewhere but and 9 o'clock. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. Come on, Makoto. Don't scare me like that. It makes me think something weird is going on. Shoot! If the sprinklers come on at 7.30, that would have meant that the body should have been wet, but only the top half was wet. But only that was only wet because I threw water on there. So, it couldn't have happened at midnight. We've established a time frame for the murder. It one. took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And Makoto. Yeah, from to 7 30. That's more than enough time. So, Makoto, if you have any objections, now would. Yeah, because we've it's, established if somebody a time frame for the murder. At nine, the body would have been wet. It took place somewhere There's between no way it 10 o'clock. Let's go. Let's go. No, that's wrong. Let's go. This trial is pretty easy. Actually. The murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. Nice. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? That's right. So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Ah, there's the contradiction. It had to be after 7.30. I was like, bro, it, it could be... I was thinking all types of stuff. After that last trial where they where they had the body moving up, down, up, down, up, down, Celeste trial, oh my gosh, they can do anything with these bodies. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. Toko, you on the chopping block now? Oh! Kuya hears this stuff and is like, yo, Toko, I heard what you just said. Now you're a suspect. Thank you. I'm wrong? Uh, how? Expose her. Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words? Spike Chunsoft, what did you mean by the mouth down south? You see Hero in the corner like... <sighs> you see Hero in the corner like... <sighs> Take a whiff, it's... Ravishing. What did I say the first time? I forgot. F I ruined my job. No, I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean by denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? You tripping, bro? Where genocide? Where genocide at? You're totally wacko. Hero swag kind of cool. I like his fit. His fit is cool. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, you'd better tell us why! I just did. I need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet. It was my big ass bowl of water I threw on. What are you talking about? All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence and that should do it. Huh? Oh, cool. Cool. I love these. I admit nothing. No, no, no! That's it! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. No, no, no! That's enough! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I'm right about this. I admit nothing. No, no, no! That's enough! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. No, no, no! Yo, still that 
temple down. Thank you. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I'm right about this. You're done. How can you say it? This should prove it. Yeah, close your mouth. <laughs> Get that snot off. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. The top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? Facts. So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! Look, Toko, the fact that you just tr said that as if you was trying to cover up your lie... I'm on to you. I'm so sick of her. Thank you, Hina. Hina, yo, Mikado. I need you to pull that. Let's <laughs> just move on. <laughs> I need you to pull that like a sock and bop it, robot. Like a bop it toy. Damn, I'm getting old. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. Yeah, shut your ass up. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. Shut up, hero. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. This is what I'm here for. Kyoko, what's up? Talk to me. And you still quiet. What's up with you? Kyoko's the only one without an alibi, which would mean that Mukuro's killer is... No. I refuse to believe it. Wipe your face. Kyoko murdered someone that's... I'd just like to say one thing. Oh, here we go. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Damn, she just shut everybody up with that statement. Which is why I can't let that happen. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. Mm. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. Ooh, you know the viewers at home is watching this and they like... <gasps> Ah, it's getting juicy. Ah. Advertisers love this series. Plenty ads. They're gonna stay and watch them. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time. Stop wasting energy. You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you. You got it, boss. Shutting up now. Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. Excellent logic. But I'm, I bet there's there's some flaws. Let's hear it. So that was her motive? If she had a motive and no alibi, well then, I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's got to be the culprit. You got the slyest little smirk on your face, bro. I want to slap you. Sly smirk, I want to slap. Alliteration. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Is she serious? She can't be serious. Huh? <laughs> right, I'm like, what? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What are you? Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. The tart. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. You already know what that is. I got it! You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. Yes, I do. You're right. 
All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. Perfectly clean? Um, what about all that blood and gut that was on the top of the, on the, top of the corpse before it blew up? I guess that didn't matter, huh? What you got? Br uh, bounty brand uh, tarp? Bounty brand? Y'all know a bounty? <laughs> this proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It could be anybody still. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? Ooh! Thank you! I'm Okay, Makoto, you be coming in, in the clutch sometimes. Rarely. Wait. Something's not right. Let it be a let it be something I can do so that I don't get stuck with some harder shit. What might that be? I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Okay, is blood and gut an option? Okay, I'm feeling this trial. I'm doing my thing. Body before the explosion. Body before the explosion. Body before the expl Yo, let me L1 it. By covering the body with the tarp. The that killer is... prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp... It was totally spotless, right? Right. It's because that side was protected from the water. <laughs> he says, hmm, yes, I see. So what you're saying is... I have absolutely no idea. Shoot. I need to think about it one more time. There must be a contradiction somewhere. Fuck. By um, covering the body with the tarp. Body before. Okay, let me see. The killer prevented it and then from getting wet. The body wet. was found. Knife at the crime so scene. So the reason body the tarp before was only dirty exploded. on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally. It's because that side was. Since it was facing. To of course, it didn't get dirty. That's what it is. Okay, cool, 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 no, cool. No, that's wrong. Just waiting for that contradiction. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Talk to him, Makoto. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? That's right. Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Okay, so I'm kind of smart. A little. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh! Yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Mmm. From the chicken! Oh, it's all connecting. I think that's what makes this game great, is how all the clues you find in investigation connect to solve the murder. That shit fire. The blood was camouflage? What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? Hiro did count the chickens. If he if he had this in his mind, would he really tell me that there's five? Just to take one later? I don't think he'd be that 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 dumb, right? But Banya on a pretty strong plant, you know what I mean? No. That's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Which must mean... I got it! Yep. Could it have been... chicken blood? 
What? Chicken blood? That's fire. When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. Right. So, you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? That sounds like some weird shit you do, bro. I'll be honest. Man, that's messed up. Or Toko. Oh, I just want to know. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. I already know she didn't do it just by saying that. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Mm. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Okay. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. Mmm, Kuya, you smart, brother, you smart. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. How? The ground was completely clean. I have to agree, that certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? Y'all, y'all talking far out now. I'm like, y'all good? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Like a lab coat, right? Like, let me see. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. It's on backwards. Then that settles it. Oh my gosh, this shit is fire! Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. Right. But the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Right, right. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, uh -huh. they pulled the coat over the body. The coat they'd already covered in blood. And then the knife, what about the knife? This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. Oh my gosh. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off, at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. Uh-huh. But to pull all that off... You gotta be a real G. Wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? True. That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh no, I headed off to the gym and Makoto didn't show up till later. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? Yo, he's, she's really trying to pin this on me. She's crazy. <laughs> That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. Fuck Kyoko, man. I must admit, she changed, Kyoko's bro. reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Kuya. <laughs> Kuya. Let's... Makoto, can you, like, think of some shit to put on Kyoko? And the suspicion falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Disguised dead body has been added. Alright, well narrator, then, who is that? Looks like we're back to square one. Wow. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Gonna have that knife on me. Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. Oh no, I don't have the knife on me. I don't. They gave it to me, but I don't have it anymore. That's not gonna help me though. I said it like that was gonna be a good point for me. Oh. <laughs> That's actually opposite. That makes things worse for me. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? Jesus Christ, bro. The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? Lord forgive me. 
According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. Damn it. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. Where could that be? That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. Listen, more important, now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? Damn it, damn it, damn it! Why did they... Look at Kyoko framing me! Kyoko, you are a dirty ass... Gray-haired... Dreadlock... <sighs> she, she cool. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? Makoto? <laughs> like, shut up. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... <laughs> I knew it f***ed me over. Oh, yeah. I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious! Very suspicious indeed! Suspicious! Very suspicious indeed! Why you talk like that? The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto! Now I'm totally convinced he did it! 12,000% convinced! Considering everything up till now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone, I'm not the killer. Bro, you're not giving me anything to go on right now. What are you gonna say? You had a nightmare? That somebody took your knife and then what? Bro, this is about to be terrible. Oh, disguised dead body is part of my truth bullets now. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. Relax. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, uh -huh. then uh -huh. that seals it. Makoto did it. Or somebody came Just in because I had the knife once? That automatically makes me the killer? You had it last. Well, it's last. getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible hold man up, you hold are, up. Makoto. That, hold up. Hmm? They are not say that she died from a stab wound. Because the blood is fake. I, 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 bro, we just all went through this together as a group. Y'all some fake mother because hold up. That is so the dirty. Knife we found lodged in the dead body. Y'all are y'all are either it's super dirty or one super we gave to dumb. No, I don't it care really if he gave me the knife. It. If he did have that knife Why before, are you shaking, Togo? that Relax. seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife, that automatically makes me the. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? No, it is not. So there's no question. So I'm gonna take getting stabbed. You took that knife of yours and. What a horrible man! Shut you up! Want, Makoto. Shut up! No, I did not. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. Yeah, sure. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid. If he did have that knife before. I think it's right here. Then I think it's right here. That seals it. Never mind. Makoto did it. The next one? Oh, Just then I talked. Just because I okay. have the knife, that automatically makes. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. Oh, you right? know what? You know what? So there's Disguise no question. dead body on getting you stabbed. You took that knife. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. This trial's super easy. Even though I'm still taking a the long time, it's just super easy. It's the same it really is, isn't it? If he did have that knife, but that seals it. Look, just because I have that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed him. No, that's wrong. Let's go. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. We literally just talked about chicken blood a few minutes ago. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Thank you. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! Hero did it, bruh. Hero did it. Look at how he acts every time I come up with, with a defense. No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? You did a terrible job, Hero. That's what. So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, 
and she was already dead at that point. Obviously, the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. The victim was twi stabbed twice in the same spot. No, there's no way possible. I'm gonna just go with the Monokuma file. I got it! The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. I didn't know that there was that there was one stab wound. I didn't think there was any stab wounds. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. I gotta see the show just to see how, how he handled this trial. Then the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. And then think about it, Hero tried to act like he didn't know what the bomb was. Hold up, bro. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, Relax. you'd know the answer. That's the thing about Kuya, like, I get you're the best and all that, but like, you gotta learn how to roast, bro, because that was trash, and it makes me feel like, bro, shut the f*** up. Well, if you're so smart, just tell I me. I wish somebody was here to say that. Where Mondo at? It's still Mondo, but like, we he, we need him here to like, to shut his shit up. I'll tell ya! I'll tell ya! some unknown quantum particle cause an atomic level spontaneous combustion! I'll tell ya! I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her, or we won't make any headway on this. Tell her what, bro? There's only one explanation I can think of for the explosion. I got it! After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That's right. That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know... I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. Now let's just watch our hero act when we bring this up. That's only natural. Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. We? He dismantled it! Alone! Look at him. Look at his eyes where you know what he's plotting right now. Look at Toko. She don't know what the f*** she got going on. Look at Hina, though. Damn! Hina! I know it's, bro, I can't even joke about it. I'm done. I'm out of here. It's part of a bomb. Cool, you know what's up, though. You see him. Oh, then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. Now get off me. And the only one who would benefit from that is the killer is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Oh, way to flip it. I know it's not Kyoko, but it feels good to have the pressure on her again. Look at her. These fools. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? You stay defending her. Stop the white knighting. Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. Bro, so we're just gonna allude to the fact- Oh no, they did bring a Monokuma. Exploded body analysis or the Monokuma file 5? We done all the body before then stuff. Then shall we continue the debate? Let's do it. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. I guess. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. 
And it wasn't because of the knife, right? No. Then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Huh? Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. And it wasn't... Oh, yeah. Uh, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Shoot! It wasn't that? Okay. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's Bro, did we fatal even see blows in the back of her well, head, though? Yeah. I don't remember it wasn't seeing even. any. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's gotta be it. There was evidence... And more than that... The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. I didn't see that either on her. You think there's some mistake lurking in what I said? Shoot. Like, shut up. Who uses that word lurking? Relax. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. I guess. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the- And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her in- Do not miss this. Do then not shall miss we this. continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet- no, it's wrong! Give me that! Mukuro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. Facts. We're never gonna see Mukuro face. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it? What wounds are y'all talking about? The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Okay. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. I really gotta start paying attention to that file. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. Right. But then, what was the murder weapon? The pickaxe? I don't know. The Monokuma file says she was oh, hit with a mind. blonde object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! That's what I thought, but that don't make sense. How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely! <laughs> well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. True. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. Toko, get out of here. You're not even cool saying that when you regular. No thanks. I bet you just hit me with the metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground, and, and spit on it! Yo, master, master, get your bitch. <laughs> I feel the same way! Looks like we're on the same page this time! Seriously? What y'all got going on? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, master! So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? The real murder weapon? Oh! I got it! I forgot I had these! Mukuro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed her. I forgot I had these jaws. And that something was... The titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. An arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Kyogo, you're looking suspicious. Better start talking. Indeed. There's no doubt Better about it. Better start talking, Kyogo. Are you sure? That sounds... kind of weird. Hey! How dare you backtalk, Master! You have no right! I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. Her hairstyle make her look like an angry bird. I don't blame Hina for doubting, because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. 
What secret is there about a titanium arrow, bro? The woodblock key. It's got to be. Give me that woodblock key. Give me that woodblock key. Give me the that. The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? Yes. I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Okay. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? Right. It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to Master! You have no right! Too thin? What? The titanium arrow. Okay, look. It was in the dojo. I have no doubt that was the murder that weapon. That was the murder sure? weapon. You don't sound too Well, it said the weapon must it seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to master. You have no right. Too the thin? titanium arrow. What would you would you ever wrap duct tape around why would I mean it's bloody though it's got to be involved right now but how does that help it not be too thin who cares I'm just about to choose it it was in the dojo locker right convince me no convince me sure? you don't sound well, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal it seems like an arrow would just be too thin oh my god you have no right if I don't get this the right, I'll lose. It was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound to well, because it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe. It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to you have no right. Oh, I can hold R1 and slow it down. Okay, let me let me try that for the that titanium, shot. titanium. It was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound to well. It said the weapon must have been about as. Th it seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to. It seems like an arrow would just be too. Oh, it was no, it. It's wrong. I'm like, bro, is it not it? Like, I keep missing. Nice. Explain it to me now. That don't make no sense. Low You're key. right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. Oh, they wrapped it around. That's why each the killer other. used another weapon. I think. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Genius. Genius writing. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. Damn. And that's exactly what the killer did. Imagine that. A big ass blunt chunk of titanium arrowheads in your, in your skull. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. Choco, no one cares about Aesop's fable. One stick is weak. We'll put them together and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. I feel that actually. I feel that. Damn, that's harsh. How is it harsh? Are you even right? Listening? What are you talking about? It's harsh. Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. <laughs> Damn, that's harsh. No, it's actually a good story. It's 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 uh, has morality in it. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. Thank you. I've never been to the dojo. Oh no, you absolutely have. Presser ask, who you presser? How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? Uh, oh, um... Why are you afraid to put her on a chopping block when she done that your whole trial here? Has she been gone, bro? You're her only friend and she still did you like that. Hmm? What's the matter? Even if you know she didn't do it, at least put some pressure on her, damn. You a pushover. Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. Never. I mean, no, never, but... You relax. know what will happen if you do, don't you? Why is it so quiet in here? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all. Remember? Yeah, Kuya. I'm, I know, bro. We're in the same misery. Uh, of course I remember. Same nightmare. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Sorry, Kyoko, gotta do it to you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it to you. I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo locker. Sorry, I had to do it to you. And how does that prove anything? Because 
I found it in your room. Sorry I had to do it to you. It was... in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Uh, your non-existent alibi, uh, your clear motive, your up. attempts to frame Yo, Makoto for the crime. Relax, Kuya, we got more thinking to do, relax. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Relax. Hold on a second. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her. It's just... I haven't hit yet. Relax, Makoto. There's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Are we finally going to get to the bottom of this? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... protecting you. I was sick though, you know, and you were standing over my bed very menacingly right after I got attacked by a knife-wielding assailant. What? She was protecting me. Then does that mean she... She knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when... Which would mean that Kyoko, she killed someone for me? That's enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Whoa. Wait. Yeah, wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Right? You're the main one who has all these plot twists in his mind prior to the trial starting. Like, come on now, it can't be can't be like that. Can you tell me I'm wrong? Hold up. I should know. What? Kuya should know better than anyone? What does that mean? Makoto, I don't know! I don't know! Oh my gosh. What is Kuya's account? I can't remember it. Look at all them Those squares! Words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Byakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me! There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? Oh! But... This is heat! This is heat! Kuya, you had her key the whole time! What are you talking about? Oh, this is some heat! But Hold could up! Could I really have done that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Those words was, you just I wasn't exactly. ready for that. That shit went like this to me. Truth bullet? I'm like, okay, here we go. Let's do this. Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand. Yakuya. Master would never hide something. There's proof that you aren't the cult. Is that what you're. You stated a. You said I hid the evidence of. And then left the locker key in my own room. But. Could I really have done that? How could she do that if Those she didn't have the key? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You, you should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct. Locked the locker key in my own room is the proof. So I take that and then throw it at proof. Okay, 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 okay. I hope Those so. Those words you just spoke. Exactly. I'm not, but you should understand. Yakuya. What a master would never. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Oh, that, is okay. Is that what you're saying? Wait. You stated a theory earlier. 
You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But... could I really have done that? Bro, those words you just... Exactly, I'm not, but you should understand. Yakuya! Master would never hide something from me! There's proof that you are I'm gonna take, there's proof, and throw Is it at the last... You stated a... You said I hid the here evidence go, of my... And then left the locker it. key in my own Please. room. Please! Correct? Really? I lost now! Could the I locker really key in my that? own room shoots the proof. Okay. I guess that does make a little Those bit more sense. Just... Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone. Yakuya! What are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me! Miyakuya! There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Let's go! No, I do this! Kuya, you're the one that's about to hide! Uh, you're the one that's about to die! If I'm right, Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Right. Huh? Why not? Because she had given her room key to Miyakuya. Right. I see. So that's what you meant. Why are you sweating now? Why are you sweating now? And if I had the key to your room... That was in there... Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Wow. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. So you did, Kuya? Am I wrong? It would appear not. How did it get in there then? Then you're finally starting to understand. It was a setup? It was a setup. Monokuma killed her. No, that's not actually true. What are you talking about, Makoto? You got some hidden heat? There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. Whoa, but this, this just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. This trial is, ugh, this trial is, ugh, but, ugh, I don't know, it don't, it don't feel right, it's uneasy, this trial is uneasy. Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's the killer? Or is it something else? Was there some deeper meaning hidden in what Kyoko said earlier? Hold up, let me make sure my audio is there. Ugh, we got audio, ugh. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. The mastermind's trap. The mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko? But what if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I? What trial is this? Where, where did I just drift off to? Toko, Toko house in her mind? Toko mind crib? The mastermind's trap. The victim was Mukuro and Kyoko killed her. What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it, but who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? What do I do? Bro, throw her under the bus! I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. I'm not following. What's the lie, though? What's the, what is the lie? What is the lie? What is the lie? What is the lie? I have decide. I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. Pursue the lie, and that would mean Kyoko's back as being the one. We're voting to kill. She's telling me that if we kill her, the school's mystery will never be exposed. If I let it go, they're gonna think I killed her, which is bullshit. No, I'm 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 airtight. I'm airtight. I'm good. I got my alibi and run away. That sounds like death. I'm a. I'm gonna let it go, cause this means everybody dies. This means I die. This means Kyoko 
I don't know what you're gonna do. Shit. That's up to you. I've made my decision. Fuck, fuck. I don't even. What is the contradiction though? Let me just try and take a guess, and y'all tell me if I'm right. The contradiction is the fact that. The contradiction showed up because she said she had no way of getting into her room and the wooden key being, or like being able to put the wooden key there. Why is that a contradiction? Y'all gotta explain that in the comments, but I'm not about to die for her, no. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. Oh, if that's the, if that's what we're voting on? No, I don't, I know, she didn't kill anybody. Oh, yeah, okay, whatever, I feel good about it now. There has to be some secret here, something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? Bro. I see. So you still refuse to accept it. Bro. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. Oh, yes, excellent. Excellent, I'm happy. But who else could it have been? Maybe you, I don't know. Maybe you. I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? Facts. You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Who's to say that she was old because the blood was fresh? But that was chicken blood. So who's to say when that body was even murdered? They could have been murdered last week, hidden somewhere, and then brought out. They didn't get close. It exploded. And they just threw some fresh chicken blood on it. It could be anybody. Well, someone had to put the key in there. Oh, it's the key part that's messing us up. Okay, okay. There's only one other possibility I can think of. And what is it? Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. How would it get in the room, dude? What? It... it had to be Makoto, right? And I planted it? Really? I don't see any other option. Wait a second! You've got it all wrong! Whoa, what's going on? Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this Bro, case. I chose this option because I was airtight with my alibi. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? What is it? Oh, a Monokuma fat ass just sitting there smiling? Yeah. Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. And then we're thrown into a trial! Who'd they get to do this voice acting? Urkel, Jaleel, Jaleel, you got the back? And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why, this has to be... Okay! Time's up! A, a, a trick! A huh? Whoa, whoa! Time's up! Class trial's all over! Everyone can stop talking now! What? Time's up? I never seen Makoto make that face. What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we... It's because you were late, so we had to push back the start time. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time? Whoa. Can I vote Monokuma? What? 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 Ooh, give me that! Give me that! An A? That's the first time! I did my thing in this trial, though. Yo, thumbs up the video for me doing my thing on this trial. Please thumbs the video up. That should really do me helping a bro. And I got some coins in my pocket. Give me those. I'm trying to hit Chuck E. Cheese. Now! Will be chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? I'm choosing you, bro. Hey, hold on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What do we choose as a group? What do we choose? Bro, this is not what I wanted at all. They're not about to show me die, though. I'll be damned. I'll smash X up out of here. What? You think I'm the killer? <sighs> Sorry, man. Whoa, y'all voted me? You voted me?
What the f***? Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, indeed. Good job, everyone. G good job. Yep. Yeah, they got it. What? What? N no, I know that's not true. None of this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense. Shing. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials. And I'm going to end it the same way. Thrills, chills, kills. Whoa. Wait, why do I... What is that face? Are you are you are you struggling to, to say the to say the truth, huh? Choked on a lie, bitch? Kyoko, speak. Say something. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. What? I should have threw you under the bus. I trusted you. No, I didn't. I kind of tried to throw her under the bus too. No, I, me throwing her under the bus would have been pressing the pressing the lie. What the? F Kyoko. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Bro, does everybody game end like this? What the f*** is this, y'all? This shit is- This shit trash, bro. This really the end of the game? How, how is it the end of the game with four- Four characters still alive? That's how I go out? I got it the worst. Now that nigga Mondo got turned into butter. <laughs> Bruh. Bro. Somebody gonna, gonna escape? I don't wanna smash X because I'm gonna miss the show. Is this POV? First person? After school lesson? Oh my gosh, I'm not there yet. That's hilarious. Are you rubbing your knees? Your knees is hot? You need some gabapentin? What is that sperm cell in the egg on a, on a... Oh my gosh, look at how his neck about to break every time that thing drops. So I'm like, oh my gosh, he's looking at it. You see, whoa, whoa, that looks freaky. Jihiro, what's going on? I'm gonna fall on my neck regardless, so. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. I repeat. Whoa. We saving it right there. We saving it right there. It's already an hour 30, y'all. Whoa. This is the most cliffhanger is cliffhanger I've ever left this on. I already know y'all pissed as fuck. I apologize to everybody though. Sorry. I apologize for cussing as well too. You know, sometimes I just get hyped playing this game. I've never known a game to throw this many plot twists at you. And then I'm leaving off this music. Let, let me calm down. Let me calm down on some PSS, PS4 home screen. Wow. This is an impressive little title, bro. I know it's taken almost a year to beat this game. But I think we're coming up on the end. We probably got, what, four, five more videos tops of Dangin, and then we're going to chill on Dangin for a minute, and I'm going to play another series. Then we'll come back. Everybody's been asking me if I'm going to continue this series. Yes, I'll, I'll play the next one, too. I think over time, this series is going to pick up. I don't know if the anime is going to do better, or I don't know what. I don't even know if it's a popular show. But, bro, this one is, this is cool. I'm not going to watch the show. I might watch some of this stuff. If it's based on the show, I might have to go back and see it acted out. Or at least, you know, drawn in cartoon mode a little bit. If y'all are enjoying this series, please leave a thumbs up on this video. This is Heat. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And hit that post notification bell so you always know when I'm going live. That being said, I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you tomorrow, sir. Peace, y'all. <laughs>
I don't know what weapon he is. I don't know how much strength I got. Crazy. We gotta see him first and foremost. 